Hello. In this video, we will talk about the contents of FrameStory kit files and set it up for use. Let's have a look at the folders. In the Extras folder, we see all the extra elements that are not selectable from the FrameStory script UI. The FrameStory Motion Presets folder contains two types of presets camera and shape presets. The Help files have some documentation files such as PDFs and the Tutorials folder contains a series of video tutorials that you are currently watching. The Music folder contains free original FrameStory music tracks that you can use in any of your projects. The Narratives folder contains eight carefully crafted pre-made stories where you can add your message in case you don't have the time to create your own. In the Toolkit folder we see the Footage folder that contains all the illustrator files that are being used by the kit. The FrameStory Script Files folder contains the script that the kit uses. The FrameStory Libs folder contains additional scripts being utilized by our main script for it to work properly. So here is a FrameStory project file. Let's open it. A warning appears from the Duix script, which we can simply ignore since we don't need to install it for FrameStory to work. To be able to use any After Effects script, we first go to Edit, Preferences, General. And on the General tab, tick Allow Scripts to Write Files and Access Network. Hit OK. Now let's run the script. Go to File, Scripts, Run Script File. Select the file that we saw earlier and click Open. We successfully opened the script and in the next videos we will see its contents in detail.